Miso paste for me is a wonder ingredient. If you have this in your fridge, you can make the most amazing dishes, just like this caramelised miso chicken. So this is a meal in itself. We'll start with the rice, make a cabbage salad and show you the tricks to making the perfect miso chicken. So to start with the rice, I'm using some jasmine rice and you'll need one cup of jasmine rice that's been rinsed. You want to rinse your rice at least three times, just so it's not too starchy as it cooks. And I'm going to be using using the 12 piece set from the Ingenio range here. So in with the rice along with one and a half cups of water. We'll just cover the rice. Now when you're cooking rice using the absorption method, you want to start on a high heat, bring the rice up to the boil, turn it down to a low heat and then pop the lid on. And that's when you want to cook it for about eight to 10 minutes or until all of the water has been absorbed by the rice. So while that's cooking, let's get on with this delicious marinade for the chicken. You need butter for this. So I've just softened some unsalted butter and you need a few tablespoons and I'm going to add this butter straight to my pan. This pan is so versatile because it not only goes on the stove top, but it goes into the oven. So we're going to be using it as a baking dish to start with and then popping it onto the stove top to caramelise later on. To this we'll add our miso and this is just white miso. I like the mild flavour of the miso, it's also not too salty. So in with our butter, along with some honey and some rice wine vinegar. I'm going to add some of the rice vinegar now, reserving about a tablespoon because that's going to be for our cabbage salad and then ginger. Ginger and miso, fantastic combination. So we want a good amount of that ginger straight into our pan and that saves us washing up another bowl. Okay, looks good. Now, just with a whisk, we're just going to combine all of these ingredients together and I'll also add some water. I want about a quarter of a cup of water and I also just want to get a spoon, back of a spoon, give that a stir and then just use that spoon just to smear that butter along the base of the pan. And this is where non-stick comes into play. This is going to be quite sticky because of the honey. So non-stick pans work a treat. So for our chicken, I'm using chicken cutlets. It's a chicken thigh with the bone in and it's also got the skin on. So I'm just going to place our chicken in and marinate it on both sides. Then I'm going to place it skin side up. Once that chicken is completely coated in that marinade, it goes into the oven about 180 degrees for 35 minutes. And while that's cooking, I'll prepare a very quick cabbage salad to go with it. I'm just going to shred some cabbage and mix it with some salt and vinegar. Okay, chicken has come out of the oven and now we're up to stage two, which is glazing this. So you can see there's still lots of liquid in the pan. So this is going to be on a medium to high heat and just with my tongs, I'm going to constantly turn the chicken in that delicious miso sauce until it forms a glaze. How good does this chicken look? You can see that we've really formed a glaze and there's still some of that butter there. So I'm just sort of drenching the chicken in it to give it maximum flavour. It smells so good. And this chicken is going to be so tender because it's twice cooked. All right, heat off and let's plate up. We've got some steamed rice here, cooked perfectly. We'll just serve a little mound of the rice into a bowl along with one of these chicken thigh cutlets. Pop that also on the side of the rice. And the cabbage salad, which essentially is just the cabbage with a bit of that rice vinegar and some salt. It's still crispy and a quick garnish, some sesame seeds, black 
and white, just for that colour contrast. And there you go, that's my twice cooked miso glazed chicken cooked in my multi-purpose pans.